What is up guys? So I'm gonna do something a little new this time. Um, I'm going up to Vermont, 12 hour trip, and uh, I'm gonna go surprise family. They have no idea I'm coming. Um, only a few people know I'm coming, so it's gonna be a surprise um, visit. And my uncle's birthday is uh, this upcoming Saturday. This video is gonna be uploaded after I get back from Vermont. So I'm gonna be showing you guys um, how the car is doing. Um, it just got a fresh oil change and topped off all the fluids. Uh, I'm gonna show a bunch of scenery. Um, some of my buddies have some nice cars up there, so I'm gonna try and get some videos of theirs and get people's reactions um, for me showing up. So it's gonna be great, but uh, I got a long road ahead of me. I'm gonna stop by the gas station and uh, yeah. But uh, thank you for all who have subscribed to the channel and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks guys. Getting her ready for the trip. I don't have the AC on right now, it's off, but this is how much gas mileage I'm getting without the econ button. And I'm just about to get into Virginia, I believe. Alright guys, so I just stopped at the gas station and car is doing really good right now. Good gas mileage. Made a quick pit stop. But I got about 900 miles to go. All right guys, so, so far it's cost me about 20 bucks to get halfway to Vermont. Um, I'm driving into almost Pennsylvania, so I'm about halfway. Uh, I'm doing really good time. Um, the car is getting 37.7 MPG. It was getting 43, but it's doing really well right now. Um, like you see here. But I'm almost to uh, Pennsylvania. So it's fun. I love driving and this car is doing amazing. Um, well. I'm gonna do some more driving, but I'll definitely do some more scenery stuff. I'll update you guys again. So I just hit traffic. Um, it's gonna be a little while. But at least I'm halfway there. All right, you guys, so I've been through West Virginia and I just went past the sign for Maryland. The car is doing excellent. I got about seven more hours left and then I'll be home. Well, I'll be at my hometown. So, yeah, now it's a night drive, but having fun. show you the 46 mpg no econ button on getting close to new york city Stop, get some gas. 
But I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I'm headed out. Got a couple more hours left. Hi uh, guys, I just made it to New York. Gassed up. Got it cleaned up. Ready to be in Vermont. Alright guys, I'm about two hours away from Vermont. I just cleaned the windshield because there's so many bugs on it. I'm tired. Um, front bumper is full of bugs, but almost there. Driving through Troy, New York right now. I'm not a big fan of cities, but I got about an hour and a half left. And oh, I have missed Dunkin' Donuts. But yeah, almost there. The roads up here are terrible. I don't have any service, so I can't have any good music playing, but almost there. So this is Londonderry, Vermont. This is where I grew up as a little kid. And whenever we get to my old school, Floodbrook, uh, little school or something like that, I'll show you. But this is uh, this is the scenery up here. It's beautiful. This is my old clinic, and this is where I uh, grew up as a little kid. Floodbrook School. It's crazy how fast time flies by. Little town of Londonderry. stores gas station I haven't been here in over a year so I'm not sure what's still open but it looks like um, the gas stations still open I have auto parts remember I used to go in that little store and get some candy town nice people my dad used to plow for Vermont trucks work down there 
remember what it was called. So, not this house, but this trailer right here. I used to live in that trailer, and it's still up. A lot of childhood memories there. I have a house I'm going to show you. I was around 10 or 11 years old whenever I got into that house, and I lived there for my entire life in Vermont. But it's coming up. Okay, so the store coming up on the right, I used to go here all the time, snowmobiling and everything, but it looks like it's no longer open. And my best friend Kim used to live there, I'm not sure if she still does or not. All right, guys, so this is a touchy moment. Um, the place, that house right there, is where I grew up. And this is the road I grew up on. So this is the house that I lived in, neighbor's house, and this is the Hold on. This is the road I learned how to drive manual. It goes all the way up. But I figured I would show you guys. This is where I grew up at. Two bay garage and it's a bunch of room back there. But yeah, so this is where I used to live. friend from high school used to live up there. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's doing well. And up to the left was where I went fishing when I was a kid. And I believe, oh, that's not there no more. A little motel. My best friend Ryan used to live in that house. Never even been here before, but I heard it's really good. And on my left, my best friend Sander used to live, we he used, to, he used to live right there. I don't think he lives there no more. No one's there. But we'd ride our bikes down this road. And I'll show you. This used to be my hospital or my uh, clinic area. And if you take a left, I used to ride my bike down here when I was younger. This is where skate park is and the pool and I'm not sure what all that is I might be making another pool possibly but that's the skate park and back there on the hill is where I used to snow uh, sled there's a town pool 
the uh, tennis court down there and then a baseball court or baseball thing but this is where I used to uh, come swim during the summer times so this is the town of Chester it's really small but it's a small community we would walk down these streets and We grew up here. They have some amazing gift shop areas. Looks like they're all still open. They filmed a movie here. I just can't remember which movie it is, but um, yeah. And then I believe down there is where there's a bridge. Yep, there's a bridge. This store used to be our favorite store, but they changed it into an antique place. And um, my old high school, or not my old high school, my old CAES, that's where I, from grades like kindergarten to uh, sixth grade, I believe, seventh. A depot store, Jiffy Mart, this used to be a gas station, but they moved. I wish I could snowmobile again, but I can't. Got a little diner over here. This one, this store's been open ever since I was a kid. And they have a new store, a new gas station, new Sitco. I'm gonna show you guys my old high school. I have two old high schools. I have one in Chester, and I have one in Springfield, Vermont. But this is the uh, way to my old school. As you can tell, there's a lot more trucks and a bunch of Hondas, Subarus. But the roads are surprisingly nice, but there's still some terrible areas. Go up to my old high school real quick show you guys what it looked like. Green Mountain Union High School. This is where I went to high school. Lots of good memories here. If I could go back I would, but time flew by way too fast. It don't look like much, but it's a pretty decent size high school. But lots of memories here. And it goes all the way around back, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, this is where the students parked. Obviously the buses back there is a soccer field. They, these weren't here before, well they were, but they're brand new. This is where I grew up, Pleasant Brook. And I can't remember who lived here, but one of my friends lived here. And one of these buildings was actually on TV, I can't remember which one though. And we got the famous Pizza Stone. Can't wait to have some pizza there. Well guys, that was Chester. There's still some more stuff, but I'm gonna get ready to go to Springfield. Well guys, remember this is a surprise, so only a few people know I'm coming. But I want to film as much as I possibly can while I'm up here and uh, get people's reactions and be like, oh, hey, you're back. But uh, yeah, um, this was a 12 hour trip. I had to stop for gas about four times, but I filled up when it hit about half a tank 
just in case I was to run into um, traffic. But all in all, the car did really good. I got about average, I think it was 44 MPG. Uh, smooth ride. Um, I don't really have good service here, but um, yeah, car did great. But there's a bunch of bugs on my bumper, my front bumper. So when I get to the car wash, I'll clean this thing up. But stay tuned, you guys. So here's the only downfall for coming up here. I'm in my car, and a lot of people have my Instagram and my you know friends on Facebook and whatnot, and my Snapchat. So this car, as you know, stands out like a sore thumb. And as you can tell, there's not really a lot of uh, lowered vehicles up here. There are a few, but a lot of people are gonna see this car and just, they're gonna blow my phone up. So uh, maybe I might see some old friends first day I'm here. I'm not really planning on going to bed. Um, I'm used to third shift anyway, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be funny because everyone knows my car, so uh, maybe I'll get to see a few people today and maybe get their reactions. But I'm glad to be back home. I'm here for about six days and I gotta head back down south. All right guys, I just cleaned off the car. Had a bunch of bugs on it. Now let's go surprise my mom. All right, so I'm getting ready to surprise my mom. She knows I'm here, so let's see how this goes. Come on. Hey! <laughs> Hi, honey. How long have you been in your butts? Uh, just got here a little bit ago. What's up, buddy? What up, honey? How are you doing? Well, you know, working. Getting my hair coming up. Yeah. I'll pay that spot there, buddy. 